What's up gamers, it's Wolt here with another video today and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get all the Illumina Pokemon and new Pokemon Snap and also if you are here for a specific Illumina Pokemon then here are all the timestamps they should be on the screen right now also if you enjoyed today's video and find today's video helpful then please make sure to hit that like button comment down below what you want to see on this channel and most importantly subscribe if you want to see more guide videos like this one so the first Illumina Pokemon is located in the Florio Nature Park, which is Meganium. Anyway, so when you go in the first Illumina spot, you just need to take one picture of it, and then you'll move on to the level 2 of the Illumina spot and get the picture of Meganium. Then you'll replay the same thing over and over again until you get a 1, 2, 3, and 4 star picture for it, and that's what you want to do for all the Illumina Pokemon if you want to complete the Photodex entry. Also, the next Illumina Pokemon is Volcarona, and this one is going to be in a while. So I'll be making another video on how to unlock all the levels, including the Illumina spots. So I will link that video once it's uploaded. Anyway, so Volcarona is in the volcano. So this one's a bit harder, but not too hard. So in this one, you just need to throw fluff roots at Volcarona and throw Illumina orbs at it. And with the Illumina energy, you take pictures of it when its flames are gone. So you just need to take one picture of it after hitting it with the fluff root and hit it with an Illumina Orb, then you get the second Illumina Pokemon in the Volcanoes. The next one is going to be Maricopia Islands, which is Wishy Washy. So you need to get one picture of Wishy Washy, but in Illumina Energy, by throwing an Illumina Orb at it. And it needs to be in school form. So in order to complete this level, you just need to throw Illumina Orbs at some solo form Wishy Washies, which I like to call Baby Wishy Washies, so don't mind me. But just throw some Illumina Orbs at them, and they will all head in a direction. And you just need to wait for the school form Wishy Washy to come out. And then you want to throw an Illumina Orb at it and take a picture of it. Just one picture of it in Illumina Energy and School Form. Then you will level up to Research Level 2 on the Illumina spot and you'll get your third Illumina Pokemon. The next Illumina Pokemon is in the Elsewhere Forest and that is Milotic. So Milotic will be underwater so you want to throw Fluff Roots at it and then when it hits Milotic it will go above the water and then that's your chance to throw Illumina, Illumina Orbs at it and take a picture of it. And there's your fourth Illumina Pokemon. Now the next Illumina Pokemon is going to be in the caves and that is Steelix. Now in order to find Steelix, I got level 2 in almost everything, scanned everything, and even took pictures of all the scans and Pokemon. As well as for the levels that have two ways to complete it, I completed it in both of the ways. So for Steelix, all you need to do is just, just throw fluff roots in any of the holes that Steelix might be in, and you can use the scanner which could help. But just throw some fluff roots in one of the holes, and then once it's out of the hole, throw an Illumina Orb at it and take a picture. And once you take a picture of Steelix and Illumina Energy, then you get your fifth Illumina Pokemon. Now the last and sixth Illumina Pokemon which is located in the Ruins of Remembrance which is the final area of the whole game and the last Illumina Pokemon is Xerneas which is one of the legendaries you can get in the game. But what you want to do is when you go to the caves where there are like five statues there will be five crystal blossoms near those five statues basically you need to throw illumina orbs at the five crystal blossoms and the statues will glow up and you will encounter xerneas some of these crystal blossoms are hidden so i'll show you guys where they are so the first one is down there so just throw an illumina orb at it and that one is glowing now the second one is right beside that sec that second statue and that will glow as well the third one is hidden, but you want to go past the third statue and you'll find a crystal blossom hidden between the rocks. So just throw Illumina Orbs at it until it hits it. The fourth one is covered by Edley Gosses. I don't know how you pronounce that, but you just want to spam throw the Illumina Orbs at them until they fly away and then use this chance to throw one Illumina Orb at the flower. Then the last one is hidden behind a Golurk, so you want to throw only one Illumina Orb at the Golurk and wait for it to move. If you throw more than one, it won't move, so once it moves away, you want to throw an Illumina Orb at the flower and then there is one more thing you need to do. When you go to this flower patch, you will notice that one flower isn't glowing while the others are, so you want to throw one Illumina Orb at the flower, and then you will go to this yellow elevator of some sort, then some cutscenes will come and Professor Mirror will open an Illumina spot for you, and just go there and then you'll see Xerneas.
So Xerneas will turn into this ball and you want to throw an Illumina Orb at the ball. And once you do that, it will turn back into Xerneas and then you want to throw an Illumina Orb at it again and then take a picture of it in Illumina Energy. Just keep doing that until the level is finished and there you go, you got your last Illumina Pokemon. Anyway, so that's how you can get all the Illumina Pokemon in new Pokemon Snap. If you guys enjoyed today's video and found today's video helpful, then please make sure to hit that like button, comment down below what you want to see on this channel, and most importantly, subscribe if you want to see more guide videos like this one. Also, if you have any questions regarding this guide video, let me know in the comment section, and I will definitely answer your questions. Anyways, thanks for watching today's video, and I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Till then, stay safe, and have an awesome day, gamers.